Oracle EPM is still number one. The last 30 years, uh, I think that's one of the biggest advantages of EPM is that getting your feet wet with the cloud in the number one product tends to be a great successful project on time, on budget, and deployed in weeks, not months. The biggest blend we see now is the combination of finance and operations, so that operational metrics are now driving those financial decisions in the office of the CFO. So breaking down those silos is definitely a critical path forward for the cloud and for customers that we see in our industries. I think the process automation piece is something where we see the theory around AI and machine learning and robotics actually coming to fruition, especially when it comes to things that are manual tasks like the financial close. Those tasks being automated and kind of becoming more intelligent on their own using this new technology has been a great benefit for all of our customers. A lot of our customers start with dipping their toe in the water, right? So things like planning and budgeting or account reconciliations and financial close tend to be the best ways to get started when they're cutting their journey to the cloud. The time it takes to close the books has been reduced dramatically from the on-premise days, from you know, weeks or even months sometimes down to just a few days.